Malogny, and I've, I've met Tom. I like Tom. I watch all of his videos because, you know, I find them interesting. I like charging and, and getting information about cars, and he's got plenty of chargers. This is his latest video where he went to help someone with a burned outlet, and um, they installed a, a new hardwired 48-amp charger in the garage. But um, the part that got me on this was... Um, how they were talking about here, actually, installing this this new hardwired charger, but they derated it to 40 amp, and they replaced the 60 amp breaker with a 50 amp breaker. And I'm like, why would they do that? Now, in the video, he doesn't tell you if the wire is, you know, 6 gauge or, or whatever, 8 gauge. He just says that, that that was what they did because I guess that was what they needed to do. Um, I did comment, and um, and I asked, like, why did they derate it to 40 amp? Was the wire not sufficient? He says, no, it was only 6-gauge Romex. And I'm thinking, what? <laughs> Someone actually just replied to this while I was talking, so... Or not, because I, I got a notification, but I didn't... I don't have a reply here. They were doing sort by... Here we go. Oh boy, lots of comments. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I got a notification that someone had replied, but anyway, um, so I wanted to talk about this because Tom is a charging expert. This is what he does. Um, he does this all the time. <laughs> he talks chargers. He talks, you know, charging vehicles. He, you know, he, he studies this stuff. Um, so... This is the wire that I use in my building. It is 75 foot, 6'3 Romex, uh, stranded. It's probably not the best thing for the job, but at the time, I think it was $250. It's gone up $100 since then. But, um, you know, I look for the main things. It is copper, which is very important. It not to exceed 90 Celsius. That is the proper rating for what I need in temperature. Um, if you go down here, you can see, you know, um, maximum amperage 55 with, with any type of electrical, um, especially when you go to six gauge Romex or whatever, uh, six gauge, anything it's rated for 55. You're allowed to, to go to round to the nearest whole number. So 60 would be the nearest whole number on this. So 60 is well within the uh, you know capable operation of this wire your charger is never going to pull more than 48 but you know the wire is rated for 60 and you always want to you always want to rate everything a little higher than what you actually need so with the wire rated for 60 amp the breaker rated for 60 amp um yeah you can you can do that so i'm confused as to why Tom says six gauge Romex cannot be used for an EV charger at 48 amp. I actually went to Google and it says for 48 amp EV charger, you should use six gauge Romex, also known as six AWG. It's recommended size for safety to safely handle the current draw of 48 amp charger. Um, and I, I don't want to jinx myself here by any means, but I've been using my setup since 2021. I have not changed anything about it. Um, I know in 2021, we installed a, a cheap NEMA 1450 outlet. And within a month of doing research, I was like, yep, I want a hardwired charger. So I ordered a wall connector and we went that route. And over the years, I have added to that. I have, um, you know, spliced in and, and added three wall connectors off the same wire now which they never exceed 48 amps, so it's fine. But I'm, I'm just confused because, you know, Tom's a charging expert. Tom supposedly knows about all this stuff. But who do you believe, you know? I mean, everyone, Tom himself has even said that a six-gauge wire is what you need to run a charger. And I understand that some people may say, well, it's Romex. That's why. No, I mean, Romex is the same thing. As long as it's rated for 90 Celsius, it is copper. It doesn't matter. It's, it's rated for this kind of load. 
And this is the exact one I bought and I'm using, have been using for years. It is, it's wrapped in this jacketed stuff. And yeah, that's, that's exactly what it looks like. And I've used it, um, at my rental property to install the, the charger there. Now that one doesn't get used hardly ever. If it's getting used, I'm plugged into it, but that's about it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Like it, I just, it doesn't make any sense to me. And I don't want to like call Tom out and be like, Tom's wrong, you know, but like at the same time, explain to me how that makes any sense at all. Um, let's see, what does this one say? You, you sometimes will get different answers, but the general consensus is, and this, this guy's saying number six is ready for 55, 65 or 75. I did see that earlier based on your temperatures. Go away, Google. Um, so 60, 75 and 90 C respectively. So supposedly a 90 C rated six gauge wire should be able to handle 75. Maybe that's why Romex is showing only 55 at 90. Maybe it is a lesser of a wire, but at 90 C rated copper Romex, there's no reason it shouldn't be able to handle it. Unless maybe the person in this video had uh, aluminum Romex, but I would not charge a car on aluminum, period. I just wouldn't. <laughs> so um, I don't know. I don't know. Either there's not, a, not enough information here or something has been left out or we're getting conflicting information. But either way, um, you know, I, I don't, I don't understand the problem with using six gauge Romex. On my other one, I used a uh, six gauge service wire, direct bury, just because I wanted to be able to direct bury it straight to the charger because it's an outdoor charger. Um, I, I, you know, same with that. I, I made sure it was copper and I made sure it was 90 C rated and that's all that really matters to me. And knock on wood so far it's been really good no issues so um i don't know i don't understand the the um concern or or reason you wouldn't use that i feel like the information is out there it's just it's so misconstrued because we could go over here and look at um six whoa um capacity we could go look at this i've actually already looked at this um and this says you know six gauge at 60 c where did i go right here 55 um i don't know there's thhn is that not the same thing six six at 55 so like I, there's not a problem i don't see a problem here <laughs> unless theirs was was 75 rated and then in that case um you know, but I think THHN is essentially Romex, is it not? We'll, we'll Google that. I mean, well, let me look. This is basically what I used, right? This is the same thing. Romex, simple, by the rule. Um, it doesn't say THHN. Is this NMBWG? I don't even know what that means. This can't be the same thing. Oh, it's a shorter run. It's the same thing, though. Um, where'd that ampacity thing go? I don't, uh, there's not even, you know, I don't know what we're looking at here. I don't claim to be an expert. I'm not a charging expert by any means, but there's NMB, but that says 60 C and we know the one I have is rated for 80 C. Even that is showing 55 at 60. I'm at 90, not ADC. I have no clue. Um, oh, these are aluminum. Okay, I just realized that. So yeah, um, <laughs> copper at 90C, this, this would be, should be where I'm at in that category. And it's saying 75 amp. I never, ever, ever will use more than 55 because that's what it actually says on the thing here, not to use more than 55, but I never have a need to pull more than 55. I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, and, and maybe somebody can explain it, but I feel like 
you know, any two answers will be completely different on this. I mean, who has the right answer? I, I, I almost feel like that makes some of these things so complicated that you can't figure it out, like on purpose. I don't know. Um, but it just, it, it caught my attention. Um, Tom went through all this. I watched the video already, but Tom went through all this with this new charger and, um, is it sideways? <laughs> anyway, um, and he was talking about here where they dip switched it down to 40 amp instead of 48. And I was just like, that makes no sense at all. I don't know why they would do that. So, yeah. Yeah.